Richard, what have we done wrong? Um, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure because you haven't got a screen on, but on the back, um, it looks like uh, you've maybe been a little bit too uh, aggressive. With, with the massaging. With, with, with massaging, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so um, we're going to start from the screen. Now, you haven't got one on here, so that's good. Um, we're going to use a wipe first. And the whole idea of the wipe is that's degreasing. Not that you've got greasy hands, but that's everybody has. That's that's getting all the natural oils, shall we say, yep. um, off of the screen. So once you've given that a bit of a good going over, you want to get the screen um, and the included spray. Peel the screen back. Now the only bit that you've got to do here is make sure that you don't drop it because it's obviously an adhesive back. So if you drop it, we can't help you. Now, away from the iPad, just literally five or six sprays. What's in the spray? Alcohol or? No, 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 you could, you could drink it if you wanted to, I wouldn't, uh, but you could. Basically, it's doing the same as that, so it's just degreasing, but what it's also doing is the adhesive now, it's not sticking, you see? So it's a pressure sensitive adhesive. So now we just line up the home button on there. Now obviously I've done this a few times I know but and then line up the camera there. Get the wipe again and then even if you've got any air bubbles just go over that. And you can see they're all sort of going out towards the side. Now you can see here we've got a little bit of something under there you can just lift it back up. You know, at this point, because we haven't applied any pressure to the top. Nothing set in stone at Nothing this point. set in stone, absolutely. Okay. So quite, see, so just put it back down like that. Now, once you've got that done, get your squeegee. And then all that you want to do is just work out the liquid to either side. So once again, we've got a bit I probably haven't got the cleanest desk, okay. You put you've, you've you've put me under the uh, under the spotlight. Well, here, but that's probably it? a realistic situation. It is a realistic. Who has got the cleanest desk, really? Yeah. Well, this is it. Yeah. So once again, if you've got anything under there, because I've just squeegeed that, we've got the. You can just get your spray again, and just one spray on there. Yeah, this really is a real life situation, isn't it? <laughs> right. Okay. So that now looks clear. Once again, just get that wipe again. So it's really showing you that, I think I think what a lot of people do is they put these on and then as soon as they do the squeegee, they go, oh no, it doesn't look right. And then that's it, you know? And then I they think get, that's- They get fed up. I yeah. think that's where skins have got a bit of bad press, yes. you know? Yes. So, but until you've really sort of fixed it down and give, given it a buff up, you could take that on and off as many times as you wanted to. You really could. Okay. So once again, we're just going to squeegee out each side. And now you can see that's already probably looking a lot better than when you did it. Um, that will now, it, it can take up to 24 hours. To, can you see any little tiny, I don't even think your camera's going to pick it up. Tiny little bits, bits of mist probably won't pick it up. There that we go. will go within 24 yeah. hours. Okay. So, um, now let's get your attempt off. <laughs> Which wasn't bad though. It wasn't bad. It just looks like you've, you've maybe sort of tried to push it around a little bit too much. But this is probably a good way also to show you how when you take these off, it doesn't leave any marks whatsoever on the iPad. It won't leave any glue or any residue, nothing whatsoever. And it also won't affect your nice name there at the top, the apple of a... The apple of a grape on there for free. The apple of a grape on there for free, yeah. yeah. There's not many things they do do for free. No, well given the price of the iPad, I guess it's the least they could do really. Yeah. 
so you can see. It it's is really well stuck on, I must say. It is well stuck on, yeah, you did go to town on it. That was a couple of weeks ago, I think. A couple of weeks. It is actually two weeks ago today that we did it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once they're on, they're on. You, you know, it's and it's it's pro it's protecting it. It's doing what it says on the tin, you know. Right. So we're just going to get the wipe again now. So there you go. No scratches or anything on there, which is very nice. Once you've done the wipe, do you have to dry it, or does that dry itself as it's out? No. Of because it's underneath and just the natural heat that's going to come from yeah. using the iPad, yeah. um, it will just, it just evaporates. Okay. So you can see there from taking that off, there was a couple of little bits, there was a couple of little bits of adhesive, but we're using the wipe, that's just come off. Okay. So obviously the back is the one that some people say is a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Um, for the pure fact of the matter that you, you're kind of going around all of these corners and whatnot. Same thing applies. Get it off the back end paper. And the main thing that you just don't want to do is drop it. So get the spray again, away from the iPad. We didn't do any of this spraying, did we? No. The spraying, it really is key. Um, on the iPhones and stuff, you can get away with not doing it. So but on on your videos, it doesn't show you any spraying. It does for the iPad ones. Does it really? Yeah, absolutely, it does. Uh -huh. It might not for the iPad. Uh, no, even on the iPad one, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. I know because it's my hands in those films. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So anyway, so what we've done here is just line up the camera, and then lined up the top of the headphone jack. You can see here that's just sitting around the edge of the sort of 3G compartment now. Same thing again, get your wipe. There you go. We, we really have not chosen the uh, cleanest desk in the office to do this in. But, as you say, it's probably making it a bit more realistic. Once again, just pull it up. Now you can see the mat is quite nice, isn't it? That's perfect, actually. Yeah, it look, looks very good. Once this goes off, I'm, it, it literally is the invisible. Skin. Yeah. Completely invisible. Yeah. So, same thing again, get the squeegee, and then we're just going to work this away. So, you always work from the middle outwards. Middle outwards is a good way to do it. Don't get me wrong, Richard does it a different way. So, okay. everyone's kind of got their own way. This is just the way that I've always done it. Um, some people start from the bottom and work up. I just go from the middle, work out. Um, and then once you've got all of those on, what you may get, just from where you've used the wipe, is some of the edges might stick up a little bit. Mm -hmm. All you've got to do is just wait for that to evaporate a little bit, uh, which can take, I don't know, it can take like 10 minutes. Um, so what I'll do now is leave that to one side, and I wouldn't usually say here's one I made earlier, but I haven't got one that I made earlier. So. Maybe if we come back to that in about five minutes. So five minutes have now elapsed, Richard, or perhaps yeah, a few six, more? Six, six, six or seven. Right. Um, so now all the edges have just naturally kind of um, gone down um, from the back of the skin drying out a bit. As you can see, if you can get sort of close up on there, the matte finish is, is nearly invisible. Um, you've still got access to all your ports, speakers not covered, everything's good to go, but you've got this great scratch protection. Um, the screen's already sort of calming down a bit just from uh, any misting and then the uh, smart cover quite happily sits on there. Jobs are good then. <laughs>